Hi everyone, I'm Lucy from Sew so Essential and I'm here today to share my handmade holiday wardrobe with you. So everything I talk about today is available on our lovely website and I'll pop links to our website and all the patterns and fabrics I mentioned below, as long as they're still available, some of them might not be, but I'll, I'll mention that as I go along. If you like what you see today, please like and subscribe because every Friday I'll bring you a video packed full of sewing goodness. And if you can't wait a whole week, do jump on and have a look at the link to our Instagram account below because I share posts every day on the feed there um, to give you lots more sewing inspiration tips and ideas. So let's get started with the video then. I recently went on a lovely staycation holiday in the UK and I said I'm not ashamed to admit that one of the first photos I took when I got there was my handmade items hanging in the holiday wardrobe. I was just, uh, it gave me such a sense of satisfaction to see all those makes hanging there. And one of um, you on Instagram said, well, why don't you do a video of your wardrobe? And I thought, oh, that's a really good idea actually. I'd like to share um, with them, what I took with me, how it worked, what my thinking was behind that. So when I went on this holiday, I am the worst at packing. I always overpack, I take way too much stuff, don't wear half of it and it just takes up much needed space in our car. We've got two children and we just, it's ridiculous. It looks like we're moving house when we go on holiday. So this year I was determined. I thought I'm not doing that again. And I was really proud because I took up half a suitcase with my clothes. That's like the least I've ever taken on a holiday. Um, so what I decided to do was just really strip it back. And we did have a washing machine in the accommodation. So I knew I could wash and wear if I needed to. So that did help on cutting things right back as well. Um, but what it also made me do was sort of be a bit more inventive with my wardrobe and I ended up pairing things that I wouldn't normally. Um, it sort of forced me to be a bit more creative with some of the combinations so I'll talk to you that about that as well. I think one of the downfalls I had is we'd had these forecasts for this incredible heat wave and in my head I just thought that's never going to happen when we're on holiday in the UK. That will never happen. I, I sort of thought you know it'll be one of those news stories where there'll be a few really hot days um, but there won't be many and so I didn't pack for a really hot holiday um, so I did have to get very creative and I should have listened to those forecasts a little bit more but anyway let's just talk you through now I'm going to show you all the different outfits talk you through what I wore them for and yep yeah, hopefully you'll enjoy it I'd also like to say as well I really want to do a Q&A session for you all I haven't done one for ages and ages so if you've got any questions you would like answered on future vlogs please please put them in the comments below and I'll do a Q&A session going forward and try and answer all your questions. It can be sewing related, it could be personal questions, you know, within reason. I'll answer those if I feel comfortable with it. Um, you know, I'm more than happy to kind of, you know, respond to what you want to know really. So the first outfit that I took was this Simplicity 8982 jersey dress, um, which is just a simple t-shirt dress, which I've shown you fairly fairly recently on the vlog. Um, I made it in our cotton jersey fabric. It's a beautiful, beautiful quality cotton jersey. It's a nice weight. So for a dress like this, it's nice because it's not too clingy. Um, and this was, my idea behind this one was that I would probably wear this sort of days out to the beach and that sort of thing so I thought it's never going to be that hot. Actually it was boiling the whole holiday so I didn't once wear this to the beach um, but I did wear it to travel down in and to travel back in as well. Um, I might have put it on for another occasion as well but it was the best travelling dress ever because it's just so comfortable because of the cotton jersey. Um, it just comes to below or about the knee on me. I think I might have shortened it quite considerably compared to the pattern um, but yeah this was the perfect comfortable car or plane or train journey dress um, so that's the first item I wanted to show you. The next day the weather started to turn but we weren't quite in that tropical zone yet so we did go to the beach and I thought this was the sort of thing I'd be wearing most of the time at the beach but as it turned out it wasn't because it was beautiful and really hot um, but on those sort of mixed weather days I always think just a classic t-shirt and a pair of denim shorts are just perfect for me um, to wear so this is the Tilly and the Buttons Nora t-shirt which I made ages ago in this French terry fabric. The French terry 
Cherry's now gone, but we've got some really nice alternatives. And I'm pretty sure that the Nora's been discontinued now, but there's lots of other Jersey t-shirt patterns on the website you could choose from. Remember, I'm putting links to everything that's relevant below throughout the um, video so you can find, find what you're looking for. But yeah, these are just a pair of ready to wear shorts that um, I paired it with and I thought yeah I'd be wearing this sort of thing all the time but I wasn't but again just a really sort of versatile outfit that would work for lots of different um, types of weather. I could also pair this t-shirt with my jeans if I needed to if it was a bit colder as it turns out it wasn't but just a really good classic t-shirt really sort of versatile item to take with me in that capsule wardrobe. Then after the first couple of days we hit that tropical zone, the temperatures were like in the 30s, it was absolutely amazing, it was boiling hot, we were on the beach every day and I was so glad that I'd taken this McCall's play suit, which is McCall's, I think they've just repackaged it i think it's an old design and they've i think they've given it maybe a different number but i think it's m8069 now again links to these patterns below if you want to find them you'll find them all on our website the ones that are still current um and i made this a few years ago in this beautiful viscose jersey fabric um, which is no longer available but you know we've got le we've got other viscose jerseys to choose from um, and this pattern is just fantastic it was so good for those really hot days on the beach it's got like this lovely um, keyhole design at the front and then at the back as well I wouldn't ever wear this with like a normal bra I'd kind of feel probably a little bit exposed I always wear it over my um, bikini although actually looking at it you probably would be okay as long as you tie it up quite tight at the top um, you'd probably be okay there wouldn't really be much bra exposure because actually this bikini top probably comes up a bit higher than a bra would at the center front there um, but it's just a really loose fitting play suit and the viscose jersey obviously and the fact that it's so floaty you know so lovely and loose around the thighs um and then there's this little waist tie to go with it there's a jumpsuit version as well um but it was just the absolute perfect beach cover-up we used to go to a really lovely beach called Mothercombe in Devon um, and it's a private beach that they open to the public during the summer um, and you have to walk a really long way down to the beach from the car park and then obviously at the end of the day in that heat you've got to work your way back up that hill again but if you're wearing something as comfortable and floaty as this um, then you're never going to have a problem so and I've worn this on holidays abroad as well I just think it's something I don't really wear very much in the UK um, but it's really a useful useful item to have in my wardrobe for holidays and things so I should have mentioned as well, thank goodness, I did take a ready-to-wear caftan and a ready-to-wear sort of beach maxi dress um, with me as well. So I was able to alternate those, but basically they, those and that play suit were just on rotation in the day. There wasn't much else that I wore because it was so hot and I hadn't believed the weather forecast and I'd just taken, um, you know, a handful of things for that sort of baking hot weather, but they served me well. Um, and yeah, that viscose play suit, as I say, you know, that has been a real sort of hero in my wardrobe for holidays over the last few years. Um, for the evening I took um, this denim dress which is McCall's 8139 those of you who watch the vlog regularly will have seen this recently um, love this dress think it's just perfect for um, pub meals and that sort of thing which is this, what we tend to do on holiday with the kids we don't really go anywhere too fancy when we've got two children in tow um, but yeah this was great for that and I did miss I think if I'd have known that the thought it was going to be as hot as it was I would have taken maybe an the sundress or something with me because I did miss those um, but actually I took a couple of other items which I'll show you in a minute which served me well as well and in the UK you know it does cool down in the evening um, so it was great having a dress with little short sleeves to wear um, and if it hadn't have been so lovely during the day and we'd have had days going to a town or walking around somewhere um, I could wear this with my trainers or flat sandals and feel quite comfortable during the day but then in the evening I dressed it up with some block heel tan uh, leather sandals and then that made it feel a little bit more dressy so again another versatile piece that could work for lots of different scenarios on holiday. So carrying on with the evening wear, um, I took this skirt with me which is New Look 6456 
six six four five six as i mentioned i'll pop links to all the patterns and fabrics where relevant below this is in this gorgeous crepe fabric um we haven't got the crepe one of these anymore but we've got this same colorway and design in a cotton lawn i'll pop the link to that below as well it's the most beautiful fabric i love this print so i think it works brilliantly across the, the seasons um i wore it on this boiling hot summer holiday in the evening um but I've also worn it to work during the autumn, the winter. Um, I wear it because of the black, I think it kind of makes it really easy. But then you've got the orange, you could pick out the orange if you wanted to, or the blue. Um, but in the winter, I wear like my leather jacket and my ankle boots. But in the summer, I can wear it with trainers or sandals. It's a maxi skirt and it's a wrap skirt. So it's a dead easy sew. Um, no fastenings or anything. It's a slight A-line. It's just a really lovely, versatile skirt. Um, so as I said I wore it in the evenings with this vest top and my sandals to go out for dinner um, but I also sort of had in the back of my mind when I was packing if we'd have had a bit of a cooler day and the weather hadn't been that great and we'd gone to walk around a town or something I'd feel completely comfortable wearing this with my trainers and a t-shirt just to dress it down a bit so a lovely versatile item to have in your wardrobe. And then on a similar theme, I also took Simplicity 8606 in this gorgeous crepe de chine by John Caldor. Notice all the bright colours, guys. I'm obsessed with bright colours, especially on a holiday wardrobe. I just can't get enough of it. Um, and that was something that was really nice to see, actually, in that holiday wardrobe. Um, I used to kind of tend to keep going to the same colours when I was buying ready to wear. I kind of fell into a bit of a habit, I suppose, and I literally had no yellow or orange or green in my wardrobe it tended to be mostly blue pink white um and i've just really noticed in the last sort of year or so i've branched out massively with all those colors and i've really enjoyed it so um you know as soon as i picked up on it i was able to start filling some of those gaps so that might be useful to some people some people i know kind of have a color palette they like to stick to and feel comfortable with that's fine in my experience just branching out a bit and trying some different colors has worked out really well for me and being really enjoyable um but this is simplicity 8606 another wrap maxi skirt as i say super super useful to have in your wardrobe incredibly versatile this one's a bit more dressy because it's got this flounce down the front of the skirt um, which runs all the way around the hem and is a lot of fun to make as well uh, works really well in this super floaty crepe de chine fabric i lined this skirt with um, just some poly cotton because it is quite a sheer fabric so i just did the lining to the point where the flounce joins the skirt and that worked really well and obviously cotton's a nice sort of um, lining fabric to use for the summer as well because it's nice and cool and again this skirt served me really well I wore it to go out for meals with this vest top so I could just wear this vest top with which, whichever skirt I wanted to wear um, but again if we'd have gone out for the day walking around a town or something like that I would have worn trainers I could have put a t-shirt on with it I could have worn my denim jacket so again another really versatile piece for that capsule holiday wardrobe and then finally, the last item I want to show you is this blouse, which is Butterick 6801. Unfortunately, we are still waiting for this fabric to come in. I know um, some of you are waiting for it to come in as well. Um, the latest update we've had is early September, so we really hope it's definitely going to come. This, happened, this has happened before and we thought we'd ordered plenty in and we just haven't been able to get it, but it is on its way. Um, but you won't be able to find it on the website until it's back in stock. However, the pattern is available on the website and as I've said you know links to everything that we've got in stock at the moment will be below um, but yeah I took this blouse with me I made it in this linen viscose mixed fabric and um, I did like a little collar ruffle I added to it and I added a ruffle along the yoke at the back as well um, it's got these lovely puff sleeves and gathered sleeve heads and it's just a really fun um, over the head blouse there's no fastenings or anything on it um, and I took this with me because the original purpose I had in mind was I thought well the weather's probably going to be quite mixed didn't believe the hot weather as I've said a million times couldn't believe it um, but I thought 
if we have beach days and things that aren't that warm and I, I you know I need to wear shorts and a top rather than you know something skimpy like the play suit or whatever I thought you know rather than wearing a t-shirt every single day I thought actually this blouse would be a nice alternative um to wear and then I ended up because I didn't have much choice for the evenings and it was really hot I ended up pairing it with these ready to wear shorts and wearing this to go out in the evening and I loved this outfit I mean I've worn this blouse loads to work and stuff I've worn it with my jeans but I would never have thought to put it with my shorts um, unless I'd have had been on holiday and sort of limited on evening outfits um, and you know we were in a beachy resort like you didn't need to be super dressed up and the types of restaurants we go to with our kids it's like pub meals and you know you sort of chain Italian restaurants that sort of thing you know we don't tend to take them anywhere too fancy it's just not worth it with kids um, but yeah these I was I really really enjoyed wearing this outfit and I just wouldn't have discovered this if I'd have overpacked and taken millions, millions of things but I just love this blouse I think it's so versatile um, um, and it just is, you know, a great way again with the blouses just to feel that it gets that smart casual box ticked really well, doesn't it? So yes, I'll pop all the links to everything that's available at the moment below, as I mentioned at the start of the video. And that is pretty much my capsule holiday wardrobe. So I hope you've enjoyed that. Thank you so much, whoever made the suggestion. It was a really good idea. If anybody's got any other suggestions, things you'd like to see, please do pop them in the comments below and remember about the Q&A as well if you've got questions you'd like to ask me I'll do a Q&A video in the coming weeks I'd love to answer those for you so thanks for watching today everybody if you like what you see please like and subscribe and I'll look forward to seeing you next time